Welcome to Pod Jurassic Park. Where are we going? Is that I guess? Okay. I don't know. Oh. That's that wasn't a very good intro. You right, might notice something right. a little bit different today. We're not animated. No. Oh. This is because if you're watching on YouTube. That is. If you if you're listening anywhere else, you're fine. We're fine. Nothing's different. Probably. Hopefully. It's okay. We don't have our, our recorder of choice, so we've had to. For go animation. That's a shame. But people will will get by as a society. I'm sure we'll be fine. I think we'll do when right. you say we're not animated, uh, there's probably <laughs> more than one meaning to that. Oh, and it's today. true, too. I think we're all still... Or maybe... How are you feeling today? I'm hungover, but that's fine. Oh, you're hungover. Yeah. Ben right. still has the cold thing that we've yeah. all had. I think... I don't know what I've got. I think it's He's either... just dying. Because <laughs> like, I felt better for two days, and now I feel like way worse than I did. So I've either got something new, mm-hmm. or it's just been having a rest. Stop and now it's, being unhealthy. Oh, I'm just, just so be tired healthy. of it. I just... Oh. Christ. You just want to frolic in a field and you can't do that so, because you'll have stomach pains yes. and have to have a lie down. So a complete lack of and animation in every to respect today, I think. Mm. But we'll try and do our professional hey, thing. This it's is still our job. going to be good. You know what's it's not good? There's no Dave. Oh, oh yeah, no Dave. can't even call him because he's in a meeting. God, what a terrible podcast this is. <laughs> yeah. it's just, there's just one thing well, after no, What number is this? Eight or seven? Seven. Oh. I'm always one ahead. Why do I always think I'm lucky for some? I don't know, man. Seven is... Lucky for us, though. Death number. I would like to read this statement from the British Podcasting Awards website. Yeah. Entrants must have at least six episodes published during the qualifying period. This uh. is because we want to inform listeners of great British podcast series rather than the short run or one-off works. To qualify for the Listener's Choice Award, a podcast must have been available during April and May 2018 with at least three proper episodes published. Uh, by their own rules, we do not qualify. Oh no, no. everyone oh. tried so hard. And as a result, and this is the only reason, Let's not we're give unsuccessful. Up. No, no. This <laughs> is the only reason. Even though the competition's over, if enough people vote for us, maybe they'll consider <laughs> they us. They can't but say no. The like, poll's closed. closed. You they can't do it. Send a letter to them, phone call them, just do whatever you can. Make your Facts. voice heard. Stand up, people. This is a good fight. Yes, podcast, 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 podcast. podcast. Yeah, basically we fucked it up in every conceivable <laughs> Read way. Read the small print, people. <laughs> yeah, that's that's bullshit. Why why can you even search for our names if you and and vote for us if we're not eligible? Yeah, what's just, that about? It doesn't take much of a script to make the computer check. Are there three episodes from April and May? Yes, and have they been? Have they had at least six episodes? Full yeah. stop. Which we hadn't at the time. No. Oops. Uh, fuck them. We don't need them. Yeah, we'll, we've got our own awards. We, we have got them. our own awards. Did yeah. you guys vote? For us? Shit. Oh, fuck, no. Did no, you? No, no, I didn't. Is that, well, is that legal? Are we allowed to do that? I think so. I, yeah, I just didn't think about that. I mean, I did, I which thought... I think means that we're still nom- nominated, right? You said no, no, nom- 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 nominated. nominated. My nose just <laughs> completely bomb- closed up nom- there. Nominated. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're still nominated for the award because we were nominated. Yeah. We didn't win. But, but we, we were nominated. Yeah, we yeah, so were nominated. As long as one person voted for us, that's a nomination. Award nominated. nominated. We're award nominated. Yeah, we, 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 we're it. nominees Podiums. for the British Podcast Awards, so however Listener's it is. Choice Award. Yeah. I made my mum vote for us. Nominated. Mm. Podiates. Mm. Nominated. Nominated. Let's begin the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Podiots, episode six, seven, seven, eight. <laughs> We've already nine. talked about this. Do you know how to count? Count along with me. One. I think uh, I've uh, covered uh, that uh. pretty well. Yeah. Seven. Episode seven. 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 It's the official podcast, as opposed to the unofficial podcast All of for the unofficial imitators. Out there. Yeah, don't YouTube to channel. <laughs> Yeah, I've listened to Podiots Are Rad and honestly not impressed. Yeah. Go on, guys, step your game up. It's, really not, bad. it's not great. We're sponsored by Turtle Beach. They're headsets. They're delightful. You can wear them while playing games and watching films. Listening Whoa. to them right now. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm listening with them, I guess, not to them. I'm not yeah. listening to my headphones. <laughs> you should. It's Mental Health Awareness Week. <laughs> do, do take time take to have time, a chat yeah. with your headphones and see how they're doing. Right. Yeah. Are they all right? It's lonely on Turtle Beach. There's no one else there, just a bunch of turtles. Mm-hmm. So, you need someone. To talk to. And they're going extinct, so... Yeah, God. 
Damn. Yeah. Well, make sure you go to bit.ly forward slash Vidiot Speech to get your own Turtle Beach headsets that you can talk to. I don't know if that feature is available in all headsets, but it's certainly available in the ones that we've got. Yes. Uh, and I'm sure you can find a full description of the various headsets if you go to there. You can. Guys. Yeah. Hello. We start with a question. Oh, good. My favourite. Matt Fulton at MTTFLTN. I recognise that on name. Twitter. He's a regular. Yeah. Asks, how much did you have to pay Asda to print that fucking monstrosity onto Ben's cake? Well, that leads quite nicely into my my thing today. Yeah. Well done, Ben. What a, what a segue. He's an expert. Excellent. Michael, you do your the thing that you what, brought. What thing? Everybody brings a thing the three. along <laughs> to talk about. Uh, about the three years. The three years. What the did th- you bring today? The thing me and Peter brought in on Monday was an ass cake. Yeah. A picture. Ass. Ass. But not just any ass. No. It is a uh, what's the what's the guy called again? Grimace. 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 It's Grimace from McDonald's with a big plump ass. If mm-hmm. you ever forget what he's called, just think about the facial expression that you do when you see that image. Yes, yeah. Grimace. It's a popular meme. Mm. Well, I say popular. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a, a meme. meme. It's an unpopular <laughs> image that happens to be a meme. Before right. we get into the cake story, I think you should explain the origin of the cake, which yeah. comes from your Twitter account, Ben, a right. couple of years ago at Christmas time. Yes, a couple of years ago, I did sort of um, a wrong. A wrong photo, uh, or sort of art, I suppose, Mm -hmm. advent calendar at Christmas. So every day I'd upload a new piece of sort of slightly unnerving and disturbing fan art from the internet. Um, Not of ourselves or of anyone in particular, but but sort of cartoon characters. Various franchises. Yeah. It was mostly like borderline Rule 34 stuff. Exactly. Just porn. porn. It's safe for work, but... Shouldn't be yeah. sexual right. undertones and some sexual overtones. Yeah, yeah. like pregnant SpongeBob <laughs> yeah. expecting a baby with knuckles from Sonic. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, I think the cast of Harry Potter as adults are sort of laying nude oh. on top of each other, <laughs> but with, with no out. no no bits visible, just but just sandwiched. sort of like a loving embrace, yeah. like all just sort of cuddling up together, and that's like okay, that's a bit weird. Right. One of them was <laughs> Grimace, sort of. With with the biggest roundest purple ass presented front and center yeah, to pear camera. shaped yeah pear shaped exactly mm. the um, apple bottom jeans boots with the fur yeah with the fur the whole club was looking at grimace, grimace. <laughs> but, yeah. and it's got sort of the the shine marks in the corner yeah. sort of the cartoon the the gri- well I'll just the grimace picture will have been on screen for the entirety of this conversation so okay. that'll be there as a visual reference point you know what that is but- sorry you've had to look at that for so long <laughs> if you want to find it just google McNuggies <laughs> McNuggies yeah that'll do and, but, uh, but where does McNug- McNuggies come into it Ben? well he's looking sheepishly over his shoulder or her shoulder mm. at at someone the viewer perhaps and there's a bit of text next to it and it says uh it says sort of with a. It's implied that it's a trembling voice. Yeah. It says R- Ronald Coon. Uh, are you craving my McNuggies? Mm. Craving spelled C R A I V I N G. No, no, no I in the second part. It's just craving. Oh, is it? Yeah, the I's just in the wrong part. Oh, know. really? It's <laughs> yeah. even worse. Yeah. Oh. Craving. 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 Craving my McNuggies. Mm. So I would then, when I used to do news videos with um, Mr. Blompier. I would occasionally just put it on screen uh, when we were talking about <laughs> the new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film right. or, or the new Steven picture. Spielberg film. And we had a little TV between the two of us, yeah. sort of a fake TV that was added in the edit where mm. we'd have a relevant picture. <laughs> and occasionally we'd just go, and there's the McNuggies. <laughs> And now they're gone. And the McNuggies would pop up in these. Carried on, on for these a while. Very you managed si- it a few times. Oh, we never got told off for it. Did you so never get why, wow? So we just kept doing it. We used to get um, told off for all sorts there, but yeah, not the McNuggies. Not McNuggies. I think, McNuggies. I think it's because our boss um, was maybe a fan. Yeah. Maybe he saw something of himself in the in, in Grimace. I don't know. Yeah, I think we all saw something of him in Grimace. Yeah. I have not stopped laughing for the entire of this thing. I'm just thinking about them McNuggies. Yeah. So you decided because it was my at the time of recording because mm. we're recording a week in advance. Yeah, um, it was my birthday on Sunday a couple of days ago. Yes, yeah. and yesterday Monday, you gentlemen very kindly mm. brought me in a custom printed cake 
I would like to point out it was Peter's idea to get. I was I was like Thank asking you, him. To, well, yeah. Based, what, what do you think we should get? Because you got. Because I had the Spyro Rule Thirty Four. See, but yeah, yours was you like a lot of stuff, really vor, inoffensive, like deviant art. You wouldn't. It, was ex- a, it you made wouldn't you uncomfortable. Porn. But, yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Wasn't overtly sexual. It was so a bit weird. this was just one meme. It was in yeah. the <laughs> middle of this massive. Michael said, cake. "What should we do?" And I said, "Well, it should clearly be McNuggies." Right. If, if I had Spyro vor, which, Ben is having McNuggies. Yeah, I instantly agreed and said, "Yeah, that's who was sent to go and do." Do the dirty work, well, Michael. Pete, yeah, Pete, Michael. Right, Peter okay. was off. There we go. I Peter was, was off looking at rocks. <laughs> yeah. Um, what were you looking at rocks for? It's just just something to do with my Sunday. Looking at some rocks. Just like sto- like in driveways or yeah, yeah, yeah. Bodies I was of water. just going around people's gravel driveways. Well, that's a really good pebble. Examining. That yeah. Well, this looks like it's maybe chipped off a of pavement. Some premium oh, pebbles. Nice. Yeah, chip off the old block. And then did you take a little bag with you and take some home? Yeah. Nice. Well, no, no. You should uh, leave nothing but footprints and take nothing but photos. Oh. If everyone took a piece of gravel, there'd be no gravel left. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Apart from wherever the gravel ended up. I never understood that argument. Yeah, so I was definitely yeah. Oh, yeah. on Sunday just looking at gravel in driveways. <laughs> That's and what you were doing. While I was doing that, we realised, well, we're going to have to get the cake. And I did say to Michael, I will be back this afternoon if you want me to come and <coughs> get it with you. But he's a good boy. He's a brave boy. I'm a very brave boy. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm admitting this now, I'm the bravest man in this yeah, fucking room. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> and that's he went fair. in with that on, what, a USB stick? I, you I, tell I, the story. Yeah, okay, so from here, I walk in Asda, nice sunny day, I've got my... With the photo <laughs> on a memory stick. <laughs> I, I took the up important, a... I took the a... most important device in the world. Oh, this is like, in my wallet, I had an SD card and a USB stick. I had two... Sources for the image, wow. just in case one didn't work, because I wanted this cake. Wow. I was going to get this cake. So it's no like what. a bit from from like an American war film where where the commander in chief has to put the key into the nuclear <laughs> device and the only one with the like, key. Yeah. This is it. This is the only copy of this meme left. Yeah, the apocalypse key. Yeah, and that key had like in, immeasurable value that day. Absolutely. But yeah. so I went to the machine. Mm-hmm. The best thing about the the cake printing machine in ASDA is when you finish the you know the design process is it prints out a really low quality receipt version of the image. <laughs> <laughs> so for a yeah, while I was carrying about like a little shitty low res version of McNuggies on a receipt, which Good. was nice. That was already fun. He WhatsApped it to me and I was like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Great. It was at this point I realized there's no cakes for me to pick up. I have to go and talk to a human now. Mm-hmm. So I went into the bakery section and said, excuse me, is, is, is there any cakes? Because I need to get a cake printed. And she said, oh, just hand us your receipt, love. Oh, no. So... I'm oh, she shaking. called you love, so yeah. she's she's the wrong age to appreciate it. Yeah. She was, I think, she was in her sixties, about. So oh, yeah, she, Edith. Well, she was. Now she's dead. Cause but she, at this point, a shock. <laughs> yeah, she went home and just died. At this point, I had folded the receipt in about in half mm-hmm. to kind of hide the arse. <laughs> right. So, like, if like a suspecting glance would just look like a cart, a, a fat cartoon character with mm-hmm. some text below it. So it yeah. was fine. Yeah. I handed it off to her. And she said, "All right, I'll just go into the back." And then she walked off to the back room with the receipt. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, God, she's going to look at this. This is terrible. <laughs> like, she was gone for about five minutes to start getting worried because she called the police on me. I'm not, I wasn't sure what was going on. <laughs> then a couple of minutes later, she emerges, a couple of big boxes of cakes, right. gives me back the receipt. I don't. She didn't mention it at that point. So I was okay. like, okay, I've made it. This is fine. Yeah. And I, I helped her. I assisted her in unloading cakes into the shelves. I thought, you know, if I'm going to suspect the suspect. The, sus- Suspect. Suspect. Suspect this woman to what? horrible imagery? What's that? Oh, oh, so, um, it's fucking hell. Oh, God, you've confused no, me. No, no, I, I know can't even. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly yeah. what you Subject. Subject. Jesus there we go. Right. God, God, every that... single letter <laughs> that we <laughs> needed <laughs> left my head. If then. I'm going to subject this woman to horrible imagery, I may as well help her do a job. Yeah, mm. Michael stacked the shelves with her. Yeah, but... Did you? Yeah. She, was, she was very thankful. Did you get a job at Asda? <laughs> she said, Do you work at a supermarket? You got talent. You got talent. For fuck's sake, Gladys. Come on. And then. So I, when I finished unloading the cakes, I picked up. We she helped me pick the best looking cake. She said, "Well, you know what? If right. you've helped us, you can have the best one." Oh, so what I, does that mean? <laughs> they're, they're white. They're all the same. <laughs> this was the whitest white. Okay. Oh. So I picked up my cake. I said, "This is the one." I handed her the receipt, and she winked at me and said, "Come, come by in five minutes, and I'll be ready for oh you." Oh my god! Oh, no. Come by in five minutes for some. Is she going to be presenting her McNuggies? <laughs> oh please, no. Yeah, I like she how saw she what you were into, and she gave you a wink and yeah. said, "Come by in five yeah. minutes." Come on, you like this kind of stuff, all right? At this point, I I, I only went to Asda to buy the cake. But at this point, I thought I need alcohol. You're in for life yeah. now. <laughs> so I, I went and bought several beers to just help nurse <laughs> me through the rest of the Cracked day. Cracked them open while you were there. <laughs> just wow. sat in the aisle. 
I so really that, enjoy how she she complimented you. Like, have you you worked in a supermarket before? And like, no, nope. <laughs> you know, I just I'm a human being and I, have I can arms. put things on shelves. I've lifted things just before. Naturally capable. Yes, uh, I have carried things before. Yeah. So about five ten minutes pass. Um, I, did, I think at the five minute mark, I thought, okay, I can feasibly go get it now. It will be done, but I don't mm-hmm. want to. So I waited <laughs> another five minutes, like pacing around the same aisle, just kind of hyping myself up. Yeah. And so I th- it hits 10 minutes, like, you go, I have to do it. Now's the time. Oh. I walk towards it, motion to her, hey, hey, can I pick up my cake? It's me, the guy with then, all the talent. And then came the horrible words I never wanted to hear. Can you exp- explain the cake to me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's because you, you let her into your life and yeah. she felt like she was cu- you, you were close enough he after your cake her. stacking yeah. for her to ask you about that. At this point, though, I, I knew the cake was already printed. So I was right. like, oh, well, they're not going to not give me the cake. Yeah. I've yeah. just got to go through this horrible few minutes of trying. How, how do you explain McNuggies? To a six-year-old woman who doesn't use the internet, probably. Just say it's an internet joke. I, that's why I, I said it's, I was, right. it's just an awful, awful joke. It's, uh, it was meant to embarrass a friend, but now I'm the one that's embarrassed. Oh. And then she carried on. Can you, can you read out the text for me? What does it say? Oh. I don't, she not I don't read understand. It? I, I think she wanted, She was like just pushing me at this point, saying, oh, yeah, you God. fucking dirty dog. <laughs> yeah, so, come back uh, in five minutes. Oh, God. Wink. So, I was looking at the text. I said, no, I can't read it out loud. I, would, I, don't, I don't want to. <laughs> mm-hmm. And at this point, she turned to her 80-year-old colleague. Eee! Shana, Janice, it's a, it's a naughty cake. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's a rude one. It's Eat a Janice. naughty cake. It's a rude one. They have a little giggle to each Janice. other. She puts a safety sticker on it and hands me the cake. A safety sticker? Yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's like just, a security sure it's not been tampered with. Oh, right. It's tampered with my McNuggies. They don't just like Jesus. put special stickers on the ones that have porn on yeah. them, do they? <laughs> you Arrest can cream them, but you Janice, cannot... have we got any of those porn stickers? Put your hands on those McNuggies. <laughs> yeah. She handed me the cake and I got the fuck out of there. Well yeah. I enjoyed done. a nice 10 minute walk home holding McNuggies and beer. Well like, done. And then I put and it in my Peter fridge. And Peter was just picking up fucking stones. <laughs> Little bits of gravel. Filling these pockets. What yeah. a loser. Wow. Are people going to think a I'm a, a, a geologist hobbyist now? Uh, depends if you... Do you want Mineral to say that you're not? Uh, no, I want to say that I am. Okay, well, there you go. There yeah, you are. Yeah. It's established. But only driveways. Yeah. yeah. Only yeah. driveways. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what a tale. Yeah. Thank you for the, the hoops you jumped through to... It's worth it. At, at the time of recording, the cake is still intact. Mostly but just but, it's, yeah, it's exactly. It's just the McNuggies that are left. Everyone's art. cut around the McNuggies. Uh, if you go on my Twitter, there's a photo of what remains currently of the cake. Yeah. Uh, some of the text and just the arse. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if anyone wants to come in and have the McNuggies, there's Please McNuggies <laughs> left. I am going to... If they're still there at lunchtime, I will eat the McNuggies. Yeah. Just go dive in on that bad boy. Mm-hmm. I don't I'll think anyone straight. wants to be the person to eat the arse. Like, they're just like, I can't right. do it. It's got to be a bit stale now. It's been I just remembered this, the saddest bit of this so. whole story, actually, is that when I got home, I drank the beers and promptly fell asleep oh, on the afternoon. Yeah, And right. I, I, had, I had tickets to go see my neighbour oh, Totoro no. in the cinema, oh, and I just Mikey. slept through the screening. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Was that at the showcase? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we went to see Deadpool, and they showed that they were doing flashbacks, and yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. My, my... So I've got tickets to go see 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh, cool. Which oh, I'm, nice. I'm not going to sleep through, because that's no. a film I've been wanting to see for years, but I'm waiting for a cinema screening. Yeah, I've never oh. seen it, but I've never I, seen I feel it, like really. I should. I don't think I could sit at home and watch it. It's like three hours long, and yeah. it's just dense as fuck. I think I'd enjoy it, though, like the imagery and stuff. Yeah, I quite like Kubrick. Uh, I, uh, I'm i going to go see Han Solo tomorrow night at midnight. Ooh, yes. It's coming out. It's like a day early preview. You know, some cinemas, for some reason, are just allowed yeah, to show films like two days it? early. Yeah. yeah, Especially in the UK, it seems. You never yeah. hear about that stuff from the States. Yeah, I went to go see Isle of Dogs like the day before release. Like, mm. What's the point of having a release date if you're going to show it early? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, make the weird. day before the release Because I kept not wanting to get it wrong. Because when you get a cinema ticket for midnight, it's oh, always yeah. a little bit like... I know how midnight works. Midnight zero 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 is on the day of the day that's coming up for the rest of the day after that midnight. That's yeah, the yeah. day. But some people are stupid and probably think that midnight is the last minute of the day. Yeah. So if right. you have the date wrong on the ticket because people are thick, yeah, then <laughs> you can wow. get a midnight screening You're gonna the miss day you. after the yeah exactly. Yeah. So I kept checking and being like. The film's coming out on the 25th, and I've got my ticket says the 24th. Have they just fucked up? But I think Apparently it is not. just uh, one of those early screenings, which is weird. But well, let's roll into uh, another question quickly. Let's. Um, thank you, Michael, for that for that story. <laughs> That's all right. This question is from Stephen Av- Avia, I believe, at Nerd at Brunch on Twitter. Oh. For Peter. Oh. Story wise. Yeah. What would you like to see happen in the final instalment of the Star Wars trilogy we are currently on? Oh, well, that's a, a handy Ooh. link there. 
Star Wars world. I was just roll. talking about it. Yeah. Um, so remind us, what's happening in the Star Wars world currently, <laughs> Peter? Uh, spoilers for anyone who's not up to date. I'm Come not on. up to date, actually. <laughs> yeah. are, you, are you ever no, going to no, be up I to date? I don't no. give a shit. You're no. not up to date from fucking the original trilogy. I, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I had episode one on VHS tape as a kid, and I watched that probably a hundred times. Me too. Times. I loved nice. it, yeah. I'm, I've, that's all I need to know. Incidentally, sorry, the last question, did you actually answer the... Was the question, how much did it cost? Oh, 12 quid. 12 pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. did it? I still owe Mikey six pounds. I got his bank details last night and didn't send him Jesus the money. Christ. Do you still owe me money, Michael? Or have you transferred your money? I transferred somewhere? the fucking money over okay, there. Cool. That's fine. Oh my god, what's so that for? It's about to collect some debts up in here. Oh, is that for the previous cake? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went. We went to see Deadpool two at the weekend. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, uh, Star Wars. So Ray uh, was dumped. Who's Ray? Ray is uh, just a lady who we don't what's even what's know her name. What's a lady? Just uh, or man. She might be a man. Right. You know, it's twenty. 20- 18. Yeah. Uh, she was dumped on a planet called Jakku by presumably her parents, and yes. she wanted to wait for them to come back. But then she got embroiled in a whole thing with Finn, who was a defector from the Empire, mm-hmm. and BB 8, and uh, BB 8's dad, Poe Dameron. And she ended up getting wrapped up in the uh, resistance and uh, helping blow up Starkiller Base, where Han Sorbo died, and his, <laughs> yes. uh, his trusty pet Maraca. His pet. Capuchin <laughs> shot Ben Swolo. Yeah, sw- Swallows. Benny Swallows. Yeah. And I don't even need to see the film. Thanks, yeah. Peter. Uh, and the whole time, Luke Skywalker Scar- is yeah. not there. And they're like, oh, Lurk. we really want Lurk, Skywalter. Starkiller to come back because we, we love him and he would help us. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the next film, they find out using a piece of map that was inside of R2-D2 yeah. uh, the whole time, unhelpfully. Really? <laughs> he was just fucking asleep. <laughs> and then at the yeah. end, he's like, oh, sorry, did you want this? And then <laughs> Thanks, here you go. Ray and Maraca go and find uh, Star Walter. On the Millionaire Falcon. On the Millionaire Falcon. Uh, on a, He's in a, Ireland. Yeah, he's in Ireland. He's just in an island on an island in Ireland yeah and uh, Luke's like I'm not coming back I hate uh, Caloran watch me suck this big alien titty yeah mmm <laughs> delicious I love that milk mm, 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 mm. reminds me of Aunt Baru's tasty breakfast beverage yeah. meanwhile there's just a, sp- a spaceship being chased by a spaceship for the entire fucking film <laughs> yes there is which eventually lands on Hoth 2 that's what it was called I think Hoth mm-hmm. 2 uh, Salty Hoth and yeah, to electric boogaloo. Yeah, mm. and they're about to get blown up because Finn and uh, Rose, that's not what her name was, but Rose. Rose Dameron. Rose Dameron. They went to try and stop them being chased by the Empire mm. the Resistance, no, the, the First Order, yeah. but it didn't happen. They ended so, up in the Guardians of the Galaxy film. Yeah, briefly. they were in the Guardians of the Galaxy. They rode a horse and then they came back and nothing had been fixed. And yep. so the, the salty base is being attacked and then uh, a ghost hologram man of Luke Starwalter appears and Lurk. saves Lurk Stol Stol Lurk, Lurk Skywalter Lurk Stalwart yeah. and he saves the day and then he does a die and <laughs> yeah he does uh, a die in Ireland where in he's Ireland he's still yeah. in Ireland it turns out he's yeah. just using one of those overhead projectors Skype yeah. Skype well, yeah. yeah one of those uh, and then Ray Michael's rubbing his eyes <laughs> Ray so, uh, this is not I, I'm just I've got sore eyes right now and Ray lifts a rock and then she's the new king of the Jedi yes or queen or queen, and then yeah. a boy lifts a broom. Remember? Yeah, and that's that what happened. That was meant happened. to be the okay. film, right? That was meant to be the film that like changed things and did daring stuff, and it was actually quite a bit tedious. Really. I didn't like it that much. It wasn't amazing. Smithy hated it. He, me did and he? him, have had mo- two conversations. Fuck, in the but that's more than one. Two. Yeah, that's more than one. It warranted a second serious. conversation. Yeah. Anyway, so what happens next? We've got Ben Swolo, who's kind of good but not. Yeah. Uh, we've got. Um, We've got Ray. Ray Kenobi. Ray, She's Ray not. Kenobi. Oh, it we turned out her parents she... just sell junk. That was just a total misdirect. When they it's... set that up as a huge thing, and then it was like, no, your parents were no one. It was like, cool. right. What a, well, that was the, one of the biggest hooks about this They were junk this traders, which I think is actually a street term for drugs. They, nice. they sell, like, oh, mar- marijuana or that's something. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and yeah. Snoke was no one either. Yeah. See, this oh, is what annoyed what? me. I know the question was what's going to happen in the next one, but I mm. just want to say the thing that really annoyed me the most is that there were two big questions to answer. And if you want to throw away one of them, mm. that's fine. If you want to either make Snoke nobody or Ray have no parents or not significant parents, fine. But don't do both because mm. those were the two biggest questions people were thinking going in. Yeah. And they both literally... Shut all fucking, of your dreams. Right, was it Ryan Johnson? Yeah. yeah. He, he got a camera... Uh, 
turned it and put it flush against his McNuggies and did a shit on the lens is what he did. <laughs> he certainly did, Peter. And then laughed at us all. It was uncomfortable viewing, but, um, but we all paid for it. So anyway, it was more than once. Slurped it up. The next episode is going to be Jabrams again. He's doing it. Yeah. And he With his lens flare. An all right job of the first one of the mm. new trilogy. So I think it could be, hopefully, another fun romp. Is he writing hey. it? I think he might be, and given that he was clearly trying to set some stuff up with Ray and Snoke in the mm. initial one, I'm hoping he's going to do just like, oh, what we told you in the previous episode was true from a certain point of view, <gasps> uh, and it's actually going to turn out, yeah, your parents were just junk traders, but your granddad but they sold oh. drugs was to Ben Kenobi. <laughs> Whoa. Your granddad was Obi Wan Kenobi, or Snoke was sort of nobody or or is dead but he's not dead and gone from the trilogy because he's now just some sort of monster ghost <gasps> or something the rancor yeah so i think i don't know what's going to happen but i think maybe swolo will come back from the bad side and uh, like there'll probably be a ghost luke in it uh i think he's going to come back and uh princess lee leela <laughs> is going to be dead at the end Oh. Um, yeah, like oh, that was another stupid part of the film where she fucking supermaned her way back into the shit. Yeah, it looked like that she was, was going to so die. That's the one bit of the film stupid. I've seen just because of gifts on the internet. It's it looks so comedic. Ridiculous. Like it's uh, rid- Mary people Poppins. were laughing at the midnight showing we went to. It's <laughs> oh, like, no. what were you trying to achieve with that? What were you doing? It's just the way it was presented. I think as a concept, Leia getting mm. blasted out into space and using the Force to make her way back yeah. would have been totally fine. Mm-hmm. Um, cool, even. Cool, even. Apart but, from the fact she Mary Poppins her way back. Cool. Yeah, she very, may as well cool. have had very cool. very a, cool. a carpet bag and an umbrella above her head. But it, it was just the way it was presented, like the shot and the motion that she did. That's mm. what made it look silly. Dumb. Um, allegedly... I don't know if this is true, but she's already shot all of her scenes for the last one, like before she died. But I, oh, ca- really? I can't. I don't see why they would have done that. Yeah, that seems that's very shooting very far in advance. There, that's a bit because no um, one else has done that, as far as I'm aware. Maybe so, the new this, right. Gosh, <laughs> Come yeah. on, Carrie. Maybe you thought gotta get this done. Yeah, you don't have much time got... left. Jesus, your death clock's ticking. So I don't know. In answer to your question, but that's what <laughs> happened in the previous two films. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. In a nutshell. I think that was a fun recap. And yeah. Everybody learned I, something I enjoyed today. it, yeah. Good. Michael has practically seen the films now. Yeah, I don't need to see it. Nah. Uh, yeah, just have you explain it all to me. I feel Never fractionally better for doing that as well. I think it sort of roused me yeah, slightly. Yeah, a bit cathartic. Roused or aroused, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> well, yeah. let's... Can you... Michael. What? Playing footsie with me. Oh, oh my sorry, gosh. I didn't even notice Jeez, that. Sorry, you Time and a place. You're the aroused oh, ones. My goodness. <laughs> Peter. Yeah? Have you got a thing? I've got a thing. Ooh. You want to do a thing? Yeah. He's doing his thing. Go on, then. I'll, I'll get it out right now. Go on. Well, bam, um, there it is. Do you want to talk about... Um, no. Prostitution in animals. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hang oh, on. Hang you on. Can, you can, please what? be orangutans. As in, like, <laughs> animals animals selling sex, sex to, each to other, each other or human prostitution no, with no. animals. No, okay. no. Of course not. That would be cruel and zoophilic. And okay. We don't condone that. No, that's fine. Idiots. I just needed to make that distinction. Before now, Michael running. actually probably, if he remembers his name redundant days well, oh, we've got to stop saying that before that video comes out. <laughs> no one's going to understand the reference. <laughs> it comes out literally a month now. Yeah. <laughs> name redundant. He may remember a video he did for me once. Oh. He edited a voiceover right. in which I talked briefly about this subject. But there is an entire Wikipedia page about it, and I've looked up some further information. Oh, okay. boy. Monkey sex. So, uh... <laughs> The first and foremost thing is that animals can use money uh, yeah. knowingly. Right. Capuchin monkeys can learn to use money and demonstrate and understand, and, and they demonstrate an understanding of market value and inflation oh as God. opposed to just exchanging a coin for some food, which is, right. that's just, you know, uh, conditioning. Yeah, but yeah. they will, uh, there was a study by Keith Chen and Laurie Santos in 2005. Is that they, Yanni or Laurie? Uh, it's, Lorry. 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 Okay. Oh, it's always Lorry. Right. Yeah, it's never been Yally. It's not. Um, uh, They trained some capuchins to use small silver discs with a hole in the middle as tokens that could be swapped for grapes and jelly cubes. And that's that's not particularly remarkable in animals. But the, uh, the monkeys would behave differently depending on the number of coins in circulation and the researcher's response to them, which is by definition, that's what 
an understanding of inflation and market value is. This is I like mean, the most adorable experiment ever. Just little monkeys handing over coins and getting nice sweets. Right. <laughs> and choosing whether or not it's worth their while to give a coin or give like 10 coins for a cube of jelly, right? Because, mm. yeah. you know, it's easy to say, well, you just train them to swap it for food. But, I mean, that's what we do. Money can be exchanged for goods and services, yes. right? But well, we won't just blindly give all our money away for a single, you know, uh Capri Sun. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I don't know. Don't know why I went to that. <laughs> That's but. a strange example, but I understand. But if if you know, if, if if the price is too high or there aren't many of them out there, you're not gonna do it. Mm. So that was interesting. Yeah. Uh, but once the money was sort of in circulation around the <clears throat> monkey colony, they were also very quick to take up gambling. Um, what does monkey gambling look yeah, like? How, do well, we have examples of that? I, I don't have the specific example, but from my psychology studies in university, oh, yes. uh, I'm aware that uh, you can get animals to gamble based on... Essentially, you probably had to put a coin into a, a hole and the hole might pay out or it might not with, like, jelly cubes. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and they would start to, like, show the same kind of superstitions and irrational associations that humans show. Right. So, like, if it worked on a day when the sun's out or whatever, they would be like, oh, well, that's, that's it makes it, wow. it's a lucky day <laughs> if the sun's out kind yeah. of thing. Okay. It devolves on them being drunk at 4 a.m. in a casino crying. It does, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this is a direct quote from the Wikipedia article. Okay. Uh, During one chaotic incident, though, a researcher observed what appeared to be a monkey exchanging a disc for sex. The right. monkey that was paid for sex immediately then traded the silver disc for a grape. So the prostitute was a bit hungry. She said, look, I'll, I'll give you a hand job if you give me a coin. And when she was done, she went and got a grape. Oh, how adorable. She paid the wow. bills. Wow. Now... The researcher took steps to prevent any possibility of coins being traded for sex after his suspicions were aroused. I think it was That's being run by Ned Flanders. Or yeah. something. Outrageous. God. Abstinence only in this monkey experiment. Uh, in other experiments, male macaque monkeys have been observed paying to see females' bottoms. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> you, how do they... They don't wear clothes, though, so how would that work No, it's otherwise? like presenting yourself there, right? Uh, wow. So not only do monkeys pay for actual sex, but they just pay for a peep show wow, as well, Wow, that's I think. amazing. Um, how much would they pay to get a look at their McNuggies? That's the question. I don't know. That's worth oh, all several the silver discs. Yeah. At least six, I think. Yeah. Uh, a day lie... A, a day lie or a day lie penguins... Mm-hmm. Um, normally are uh, monogamous, right? They're supposed mm. to be quite... It's it's like a, one of nature's cute couples kind yeah. of thing. It's right? like you the know, mate for life kind OTP. Of thing. I don't know if they necessarily mate for life, but for a season, yeah. once you've got your partner, you stick with them mm. and look after your baby. Yeah. Uh, but these penguins, apparently sometimes sn- the ladies sneak off behind the men's backs <gasps> and they go and have sex with other males and when they're done... They take a nice pebble from the nest. Wow. Really? Yeah, that's what penguins like. I think that's part of the mating ritual. Is that you... what you were doing at the weekend? Yeah, I was, yeah. Uh, I went and had pebbles. sex with a penguin. Yeah. Right. And then took a pebble from my And then you troubles. took a pebble and you just, yeah, you spun this whole thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, wow. Michael's off embarrassing himself at Asda. Yeah. You're out fucking penguins again. And yeah. Jesus. It's all right. What the fuck, It dude? was all consensual. It was a talking one. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like Coco the gorilla. It was just a man in a penguin suit. <laughs> You just relived Happy Feet, didn't you? That's yeah. it. It's your favourite fucking film. Yeah. Uh. Favourite fucking film. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> we know that uh, the penguins value these pebbles because uh, that's how you get your mate to begin with. You yeah. present it a really nice pebble. Oh, but shit. then once you've got a, a little bit of courtship going on, they're sneaking off and getting other pebbles oh, and just trading their bodies for them. What the fuck? God. Uh, and according to Christina Gomez of the Max Planck Institute of Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Sig, right. A study into chimpanzee behavior, quote, strongly suggests that wild chimpanzees exchange meat for sex and do so <gasps> on a long term basis. Nice. Oh, so meat for sex. Yeah. For like food, food for sex. Sex right. meat. Yeah. So it, in, in a way, it mirrors prostitution in humans in that, you know, it tends to be something that you only do when you're kind of down on your luck. Oh. You know, there aren't many prostitutes that. Uh, are doing it just for fun unless right. you're like one of those really like upper class professional escorts 
who yeah. gets like you ten thousand pound for yeah. to get treats to a nice nice dinner. Your partner like that. goes off during the day, mm-hmm. whether they're a man or a woman, to the office. And while they're out, you just have people over and you make them clean your house for you or whatever and whip their bottoms. That is how sex works. Yeah. That is it. Yeah, that's it. That's all the prostitution Dayton, involves. That's how sex works. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no need to go to sex ed. We got you, fam. So, I mean, it kind of draws into question whether... Does that mean that those animals are doing human behaviours or are we just terrible, mm. terrible animals? Well, we are more advanced, aren't we? So maybe... Those, well, we've got those, opposable thumbs. Well, I mean, just like in, job, intelligence <laughs> wise. <laughs> intelligence wise. Come on, get your head in the game. Okay. Intelligence wise. Yeah. <laughs> if those if those characteristics are shown in animals, yeah. and we are the most advanced intellectually, animal wise. Yeah. Um, there's no reason why we can't share those those abilities. There's probably a lot of things that we that we yeah. do and take for granted as human behavior that animals would probably do too if put in the right position, but they're just not clever or advanced enough. Dolphins to do, it. do bad things to other dolphins animals. Dolphins do yeah. bad things to humans. Dolphins to humans are rapists. and to they seals are. and to other dolphins. They are aggressive as fuck. Yep. There's never been a record this was also actually from a, a name redacted video that I did. There's yeah. never been a recorded case of penetration. Ooh. But Dolphins have been known to push divers to the bottom of the ocean and yeah. mount them. God, that'd be yeah. fucking terrifying. With their imagine. big rocket willies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Yeah. Stop calling it a willy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not five. <laughs> yeah, but some of the people who listen are five. <laughs> Stop listening. <laughs> Tell your friends who are adults. Yeah. yeah. Tell all of your yeah. adult friends. Yeah, if you've got, got kids who are your friends and they're five, what yeah. are you doing? I don't understand that. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So that's just another little venture into uh, wow. weird, weird, weird Capetia. Weird, ca- weird Capetia. Nice. Yeah. That's perfect. Beautiful. Thank mm. you, Peter. That was amazing. You're welcome. I hope I delivered it with the regular level of vim that I normally Enthusiasm. Do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I was, was hooked perfect. from start to finish. Yeah, you were hooked. I was just mentally yeah. picturing monkeys doing doing the naughty, exchanging yeah. coins, getting grapes and jello. I really like the sentence, uh, macaques have been seen exchanging <laughs> coins to see females' bottoms. <laughs> That's, that's so innocent and playful. Just, yeah. oh, let's see your just, can I see your bottom? They're just doing what they think is right. <laughs> Take a round disc for it. <laughs> <laughs> what is a monkey? Sorry, what is a monkey getting from that? Like having sex, mm-hmm. that's like the most innate drive in in the animal kingdom. That's the point of right. living. That's monkeys the meaning of life though, when you're not right? human. Yeah, well, monkeys masturbate too. Um, so yeah, he's, he's looking at the arse and saving it for later in yeah, his mind. Yeah. God, that's so weird. He just wants something for the bank, I guess. Wait, what? 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 The monkey's called again? I want to look at him. Macaque. Macaque ass. Macaque ass. Oh my god! It's in the link dump down below. A macaque's bottom. <laughs> Macaque underscore ass dot jpeg. But if you want to see it, you have to pay us a silver coin. Yes, one silver coin to our PayPal, yeah. which is PayPal dot com. That's where you can send us the PayPal. Or, if you like, and you don't feel like you have to, you can go to Patreon. Whoa! Oh, and that. you can give us a little tip. Yes. And we can, like, have a beer on you, or you can just imagine we're spending it on whatever you want us to spend it on. Mm. Equipment. Hospital bills. Hospital bills. Oh, my God. Pebbles. Yeah, that'd be nice. Pebbles. Uh, Internet. Pornography. Bottoms. Oxygen tanks. Look yeah. how fat this macaque is. <laughs> Oh, my oh no! That's a thick boy. That's like a city macaque, isn't that's a, it? Where that's it an absolute unit. Just that. gets fed by the tourists of that all lad. the time. Thailand's oh, famous macaque, Uncle Fat, has been Uncle placed Fat. on a diet. <laughs> that's so uninventive. <laughs> You're right, uh, uh, un- Uncle Fat. Uncle Fat. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, God. nice one, Dave. That's a really good one. Yeah. Fuck Do we have sake, some uh, some questies? I've got a questie. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a questie for Mikey. Mm. Oh. Uh, this is from Ode to Sleep at Ode to Sleep 6498. When is at Parrot Boy's birthday? Whoa. And does he want anything other other than more Hot Wheels? I guess sweets are off the table. Too many E numbers? Please, literally anything other than Hot Wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's so many tired hot of Hot Wheels. wheels yeah. It's quite a long wait until my birthday. It's October 3rd, so mm. it's the arse end of the year. We'll give plenty of time. Uh, yeah, have good. a proper yeah. run up. I don't know what I want. Does I'm your dog? No, don't send Michael dogs. No, don't send a dog. Put holes in the box, it'll be fine. It'll make it through no. transit. Send, send, you can just send loads of postcards with dogs on. Yeah, there we go. Just loads. send me pictures of dogs and I'll enjoy them. Yeah. There you go. Nothing with a monetary value because he doesn't understand inflation or bargaining. No, or, yeah, or he'll market just take, value. He'll I'm, just take the postcards to women and ask to see their bottom. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think that would work. Hello, can Eventually, I see your bottom? That, Please, yeah, I've got a, a picture, picture of a dog. dog. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, eight, yeah, so. eight. I'm not going any higher than ten dog postcards. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you, just, you just don't understand inflation. That's what it is. You just don't understand inflation. How many dog pictures would it take someone... To, like someone to give you to like you let them see your ass. That was um, a massive word. Literally, I I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Literally, there is no amount of dog photos no, yeah, because, because they they have no value to me. Especially the more you get, like actually. Oh, I guess yeah. Uh, having fewer dog photos <laughs> yeah. is arguably better. Yeah. If you came oh. at me with ten thousand dog photos and said <laughs> I will give I will make you take ten thousand dog photos if you don't show me your ass, I'd probably be more likely to do yeah. it if it was a threat than some kind of bargain. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, but don't do that feature. because I don't want to do that. And there are things in place like the government and polis. And Fuck I will the call polis. the polis. The age of there's consumers. a man trying to they're see my ass. He's giving me dog photos. He's soliciting me with dog pics. I don't. I just. Do, it's so strange. I don't I think know what really to do. He's really confused with the concept of a dick pic. Yes. <laughs> he just can't read properly or yes. something. I'm sending duck pics instead. I had a dog called Richard, and he just he just took it from there. He doesn't understand. <laughs> Next question. This one, because we've all had a question, I picked one out for me as well. Oh, oh good. Um, this is from Reese at Reese2098 on Twitter. Um. The 2098th <laughs> Reese. Wow. Uh, 2098th of his name. Uh, he asks, have you guys ever gotten into the From Software games? I know you've dabbled, gentlemen, right? Wait. From software that Dark Souls, Bells, Black Dark Souls, and Bloodborne. Souls. And I know that because that kind of on thing. your desk you have that uh, Dark Souls toy, Bloodborne. Uh, Bloods, same thing. <laughs> Bloodborne thing. And on, on the same back thing. it says From Software. It does. Sounds like that. I, uh, that, right, I just pictured that. The toy. games the guys. are from From Software. From, yes, from. it's software from From Software. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't ever properly dabbled in a Dark or Demon Souls or Blood game. So okay. game. <laughs> so there. soon though. I, yeah, when it comes out on Switch, I'll probably just give it another go. I think I downloaded Dark Souls 3 for the PC just to mm-hmm. give it a whirl, and I got 10 minutes and got bored because <laughs> yeah, I'm a terrible hard. person. I've never owned any of them, but I've played a couple. <laughs> I've played uh, Dark Souls 1 and just just the beginning of it, yeah. um, and Bloodborne as well. Yeah, I really like Bloodborne. Like The, the world seemed really interesting. Yeah. I, love, I love all the gothic stuff, Yeah, uh, but yeah, I've, I've not properly invested the time, and... I'm sure it takes probably a lot of time to uh, get through those because you does. die all the time. Famously, you do die a lot. Mm. Um, I am. They are one of amongst my favourite games. Yeah. I love those games. I have. I have the platinum in Demon Souls Jesus. on the PlayStation Three. Yeah. I've uh, played and finished Dark Souls One, Dark Souls Two on both PS3 and PS4. Damn. I've got the platinum in. Dark Souls Three. Ooh. I had the Platinum in Bloodborne, Ooh. and they're all they're all incredible. The lore is so intricate, and you you just want to look up YouTube videos and theories and people connecting the dots because it is there. Yeah, but it's just like really subtle. Yeah, and it it's always it fascinating. Yeah, and yeah. morbid. We cut it out of the um, piece of cake video we did about Dark Souls, but I said a little fact in that that Hidetaka Miyazaki, who's like Mister Souls game. Yeah. Um, was read a lot of European fantasy choose your own adventure books oh, yeah. when he was a young un and because he didn't speak perfect English, a lot of it was quite vague and he oh. didn't quite understand a lot of it. And he said that is a huge influence for how he designs the the games. Yeah. Because oh, uh, he's frequently game designer. I don't think he was in Dark Souls 2, but he certainly was for the other ones. Yeah. Uh, the music's always incredible. It's always horrible and yeah. scary. And I love, a lot of people look down on it, but I love playing it in co-op. Just because, oh, while yeah. it's still a challenge, it's it's like a bonding exercise. Like I don't just summon in randoms. Like for example, this this weekend mm, coming up, away. I've booked Thursday afternoon off yeah. and Friday off, and I'm going to my friend's house where another friend is also coming, and we're going to sit there and play Dark Souls Remastered. That sounds lovely. All weekend yeah. together in co-op, and it's going to be wicked. Nice. And yeah, I when love does it come out? Is it Thursday or? It is this week Ooh. at the time of recording. Nice. Um, I can't remember exactly when. Good. But very, very soon. I'm very excited for yes. that. I very much appreciate them from afar, and I yeah, ha- yeah. have every intention of playing them. Whether I actually will or not, I don't know. But I, you we know, should do a playthrough. If someone said, oh, "Sit down and play it? this," then I would. Depends which one we play. Yeah. I've seen um, like uh, I watched someone play through 
Dark Souls one, and did it quite quickly. This is a guy who like play. If that you know where you're going, yeah, yeah you can just, just smash around. through it. Yeah. The problem is with Dark Souls one, it's a little open ended, mm. and they are fixing it with the remaster. But honestly, one of the hardest things about playing it in co op is just waiting for the like, because it's a very clever online system in the form. You know, you summon in phantoms and so on, and get invaded and that sort of stuff. Mm. But it, it's a flawed system at the same time because you just put your sign down on the floor and wait for it to show up in someone else's game. Right. Mm. In the newer ones, they've added password support. Okay. So you add a password and it'll only show up for someone with a matching password right, right. but in the early games it was like it's just a just a fucking Sh- russian game. yeah whether or not you just get picked up by a random um so it's a lot easier now depends which one we play Ooh, dark yeah, souls 3 fun. might be good fun but it's it will be a long long old haul when does the ensign trilogy remaster come out for the Insane switch trilogy oh for the switch oh, yeah. soon right yeah couple, pre- next couple of months i think yeah, it's it's yeah it's probably yeah, soon, pretty soon. That, why are you up for playing that? i don't know that's the thing i'm like I've, it's been on my amazon homepage for so long yeah. it's like do you want it go on get it you know you want it go yeah. on yeah i think it's it. soon been playing that a lot more recently i think i mentioned the last podcast actually and uh, yeah, yeah i want to give it good. a go it's still slightly broken but you know it's fine, it's fine you love it anyway right you ready for my thing yes please yes. so can i have a guess yeah. Is it an investment opportunity? It's not an investment <gasps> oh opportunity. Oh my god. Say what? Yeah, take that, internet. Yeah. Wikipedia defines Charles Darwin as a man mm. or a woman <laughs> born on the 12th of February 1809 and who was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wikipedia also defines award as something given to a person, oh a group God. of people, like a sports team or an organisation in recognition of their excellence in a certain field. Right. Have the Darwin Awards just happened? The Darwin Awards oh. are always happening, Peter. That's why they're well, amazing. True. But they do literally give out a series of them in they do. posthumously. There is a website. I have been to the website. It is a horrible website in, is it? in terms of navigation. It's yeah. just like a really old, archaic-looking thing. And a lot of the stories are written in a sort of bearing in mind the subject matter of the Darwin Award which is essentially someone who proves that natural selection exists by dying in a really stupid (laughs) way and like well you know evolution fucking you know natural selection took care of them getting rid of the stupid people out of the gene pool exactly yeah Yeah. because they can't survive because they're too stupid Uh, for a website that's based entirely around that a lot of them are written with very little mirth and humour oh really bearing in mind that that a lot of the ways that they die are quite entertaining yeah. Yeah. and just really stupid. Put forward in a very straightforward way. It is way. <laughs> just really straightforward and factual, and it, it's sometimes a bit sad to read them. <laughs> Luckily, there are websites like Pop Crunch, mm. which is one of those darned top ten websites. Oh, oh, down boy. with them, am I right? Who just sort of minimises the human pain yeah. from the story and maximises the lol they oh. fell out of a window aspect <laughs> which yeah. of course is the best bit I have a number here a number of them mm. a number of them from this article including verbatim what it, the description was for each one I'm going to read you the titles I want you to choose a few of them for, okay. Me, to, okay. for me to read you so stop me when you want me to begin Yeah. <clears throat> the enema within <laughs> Well, the, I mean, no, I can kind of see what's going to happen. We there. can loop back round. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, let's hear them all first. Wait. The Mentalist, Homegrown Shoot, Musket Mishap. These all sound wow. like uh, Looney Crash Tunes. Band- yeah, yeah, Looney Tunes yeah, or Crash do. Bandicoot levels. <laughs> uh, Russian Roulette Fail. That's not quite as inventive. Right. And Unbreakable Glass. Oh, God. Oh, I want to go for Unbreakable Glass, I think. I think we should do Unbreakable Glass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We should do the Enema one. Mm-hmm. And I think Musket Mishap sounds good because it's going to be Musket someone mishap. cleaning the barrel and looking down at it and pressing the trigger. <laughs> okay. You ready? Where would you like to start? Start at the top one. Okay. At the Enema yeah. Within. Yeah. We've all heard the stories about frat boy morons giving themselves alcoholic enemas to get completely wasted in a fraction of the time it takes when actually drinking liquor. But Michael Warner took this ridiculous practice to a whole new level. Warner was a 58-year-old machine shop owner who had a throat injury that made it nearly impossible for him to drink alcohol. So, being a logical, mature fellow, he had his wife assist him as he self-administered enemas of his favourite spirits. The problem is, taking booze rectally will cause the alcohol to absorb several times faster and by more volume than simply drinking the stuff. 
Warner's last enema consisted of two 1.5 litre bottles what? of sherry. He died in his sleep with a blood alcohol content of 0.47%, and his wife was brought up on charges of negligent homicide for not calling him an idiot imagine, and taking away his hose. Imagine oh, pumping fuck. your husband full of sherry up the arse. Two ass, bottles. And then two bottles die, of having sherry. Them die. And oh. sherry's strong. Nearly like, 1% of his body was got, sherry when he died. That's got to burn. Like, that's <laughs> got to be really stingy. Yeah. You'd just pass out almost immediately, yeah. wouldn't you? Well, he did. Like, and then he never <laughs> woke up again. What sad. an idiot. That's what yeah. I want to go. I actually put that one at the top because it was one of the slightly more sad ones yeah it is a bit but uh, but fortunately he had an injury and he was just trying to get a drink but god like even if even if it didn't magnify the effect mm -hmm. two bottles of sherry yeah. is still a lot to fucking drink it so is. don't shove it up your ass it's obscene that's what, amazing what a silly bit what a man we move on now to musket mishap yeah Muzzle loaders, like any gun, can be dangerous if not handled properly, but common sense plays a big part. 19-year-old Gregory Pryor was cleaning a .54 cal... Is it .54 or just .54 caliber? I think either is acceptable, but in okay. America, I think they just say uh, the, the numbers. numbers. Okay, yeah. let's, let's go with .54 caliber muzzle loader in an attempt to return it to working order. The gun hadn't been firing properly, so he assumed that there was something, some, some residue, sorry, lingering in the barrel. So, thinking on his feet, he went to look inside with a lighter. Oh, oh my God. God. Turns out Mr. Pryor was correct in his hypothesis, and there was some leftover gunpowder residue. Sick. His lighter ignited whatever was left, and his face was blown off. Oh my Jesus, God. Jesus, what an idiot. It's, I heard about someone who actually survived a terrible, terrible accident where they, uh, they, they came back at night, uh, their power was off, um, and they, um, uh, they could smell gas. Oh, I think they could God. hear gas. <laughs> And what rather, the fuck? rather than just go off the smell and maybe even the sound of it hissing, they thought, oh, if it's super gassy in here, I'll be able to see that it's all wavy, you know, because mm. gas is wavy when you look yeah. through it. Yeah. So they, I don't know if they struck a match or lit a lighter, but they massively like burned their face and stuff. But I think they survived. Fuck's sake. But Jesus Christ. People. <laughs> just Darwin Award winners, these guys. Yeah. Uh, unbreakable glass. Hmm. Before we get there, though, I'm just going to give you a quick synopsis of the other ones. Okay. So the mentalist is a man who thought, who a man from Russia who thought he had uh, like sort of a, a psychonetic telepathic ability. Oh yeah, abilities. okay. Yeah. Right. And he tried to stop a train, and he, and he couldn't. Oh god, um, amazing. Homegrown shoot is a man who wants to do a, a James Bond style plane robbery. Managed to this was before 9/11. Managed to smuggle like shotguns and. Uh, grenades onto a plane, How the held fuck? it up, robbed twenty five grand, um, had a homemade parachute, oh. and was found like with his arms sticking out of mud, like <laughs> fucking hell, because <laughs> he just went straight <laughs> down. Um, oh God. Uh, Russian roulette fail is a man who tried to play Russian roulette with a handgun, which of course just oh, yeah, loads a bullet. That. Every what? time you yeah. cock it, so he just shot himself in the head. He put a bullet died. in it and then he just fired it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Russian right. roulette obviously is, is meant to be played with a revolver, yeah. which has many chambers that could be empty. And, well, no, and you spin it and it's a random. A semi automatic gun just literally loads the bullet. It just loads round. the bullet. It doesn't just yeah. he put a randomly bullet in. not fire sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> and he just shot himself in the head. And Good. He died. Well done, buddy. Uh, unbreakable glass. Sometimes people take for granted how fragile glass can be, especially when entire buildings are sided with it. Gary Hoy was one of the best and brightest lawyers at his firm <laughs> in Toronto, he? Oh, where he no, often joked see. about how the window glass was unbreakable. He'd been seen by his colleagues testing his theory by running into the window <laughs> oh, my and simply God. bouncing back off. But his luck didn't last. One day, while showing some new colleagues the same old trick, the glass simply broke, sending Gary to his death after a 24-story fall. Oh, oh my no God. matter what your windows are made out of, running into them to prove unbreakability is just absurd. Imagine I would that. not have the confidence to do that. No, I wouldn't. But if even if he did, imagine that moment of realization as oh, he hits fuck. the glass. He hears he it straight crack. through it. And imagine then it's your first day in the office. All right, let me show you the unbreakable glass. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, check this out. It's one of our best features. <laughs> Gary, no. And then you've got twenty-four stories worth of fall time. Man, to be that's like, a lot of time to think about. Oh it. my god, why did I do this? Oh, Gary, you really fucked this up, didn't you? I, t I told. They said I should have just switched to a different window instead of running into the same one every time. Christ. 
<laughs> what an idiot. Amazing. There's a bonus one for you. It's oh. a short one. <clears throat> 1995, Poland. Confirmed true by Darwin. Is what it says at the top. By Darwin. By Darwin. It's clearly not because he would have been long dead. Yeah. Some men will will go to. Ex- it says some men will got to extraordinary lengths to prove how macho they are. Polish farmer Krzysztof Zinski staked a strong claim to being Europe's most macho men. Ma- macho man, sorry. <laughs> so by, manly, he's men. <laughs> he's plural. He is more than one man. By redacted you'll find out in a second oh, Azinski 30 had been drinking with friends when it was suggested they strip naked and play some men's games <laughs> right initially this is manly already oh, yeah. initially they hit each other over the head with frozen turnips right but okay. then that's also manly yeah. but then one do. man upped the ante by seizing a chainsaw and cutting off the end of his foot Men's what? Stuff. Yeah. That's pretty manly. Yeah. What? Not to be outdone, Azinski grabbed the saw and shouting, Watch this then. He swung at his own head and chopped it off. What? What? Okay. Cool. The hell? Because he's a man. That's, that's what he, real men do, yeah, is they die. It's funny, said one companion. When he was young, he put on his sister's underwear, but he <laughs> died like a man. Which I think yep. is a quote that anyone would like to have on their tombstone. He died like a man. He used to wear women's underwear when he was a child. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's why he, he did like it. Man. He was like, maybe they I've used got something to, just, to prove. Ma- yeah, make fun of him all the time. Oh, well, you're, oh, the, sure you. you're the sister panty boy. Oh, yeah? He's, Watch this. Right? <laughs> would a sister panty boy do this? <laughs> Fucking hell. So cool. there are some real special people out there. There's also plenty of top ten lists of these, so I might raid some more in the future and, yeah, and tell you guys some tales. Well, of something I definitely want to bring to the podcast in a few months' time, I think it's in September or October, is they do a sort of an anti-Nobel prize for science. <laughs> oh, fun. Uh, where it's people who've just done the weirdest experiments. Right. It's not people, like, blowing themselves up. It's just, like, guys proving that uh, knits... That um, masturbate or whatever. Wow. Right. Do you know what I mean? Just right. like, what that has really that guy an why have you added that to the world? Like, you deserve a, an anti Nobel uh, Prize for Science. So God. That's wonderful. We'll have that in the autumn. I would like that. Yeah. I would like we can, we can watch it live, ones. maybe. I don't think Willies, they're Wilkins. By the way. <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> I don't think they do. Will you put Willies. your Wilkins away? <laughs> <laughs> we end with another question. Oh. One more question. This is from Zach Belshaw at British Cookie 21, the 21st British Cookie. Yeah. When will we see a guest star on the podcast? I think star maybe is a bit optimistic, but guest certainly is something that we, should. we, we can do. Yeah. We've had Dave. He's a star. Yeah. Dave's all uh, we need. Dave is a star, but yeah. we haven't had Dave for a little while, like in person. He's a busy man. No. He is way too busy. Uh, I think we're going to, at some point, maybe not for an entire episode because it's difficult if we're going to, like, for example, when we're going to Newcastle mm. and we're going to see the Cultolic Boys, we're probably going to bump into Jules, I'm sure, as well. Yeah. Um, we don't have a recording set up that we can bring with us, but we certainly have telephones mm. with recording technology within them that we can sit down and have a chat yeah. and insert into a podcast. Yeah. Uh, so maybe something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, it'll be lo-fi, but it'll be nice. It'll be homely, be comfortable, be like having yeah. a chat. Yeah. I want to get Miller on here at some point. Yeah, me too. I'd love to. Miller. 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 I don't think we'll ever get him to Bristol, Bristol. but like we can certainly have a chat with him and then insert the MP3 into this podcast. Cast. Cast. Got to put it in this cast. And it'll be good, unless it won't, but it probably will be. You just got to remain positive about it. Try and be optimistic, because life is good. Did you say that some people, was it you that said yeah, that some people think that we don't like Miller? On the, uh, what worst games ever was it? Beverly Hills Cop? Yeah, yeah, the one that's starring think, Simon Miller. There's a lot of people seem to think you're just taking the piss out of him in like an unfriendly, mean but way. But we rang him. Yeah. Yeah. I, so people, I don't think, I think people are kind of missing the fact that we love Miller and it's very endearing that we you know, do impressions of him We all called the time. him up and he was on the other end of the phone going, yeah, well, when it was in Beverly Hills Cop, it was great and I didn't need a script and uh, I can't wait for him to do another one. Like, why would he do that if we were taking the piss in a in a horrible way? We're taking the piss, but in a in a hashtag, it's just a prank, bro. This is, this is what I get for reading YouTube comments, I guess. Yeah, it's, fuck them. Fuck you all. They're just looking looking for drama. Yeah. They're looking for drama. I'm yeah. looking at our group chat with Simon Miller right now. Oh, he's just he's so affectionate, isn't he? He's, he's so really expressive. He's lovely. Like we we were we were doing Miller impressions in the chat. Yeah, <laughs> and that's okay unless it's not. Um, and then, and then we said, you know, if we if we do get, let us know if we get too much Miller. I'd hate us, 
And he said, ha, 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 this is the best thing to return to. Oh. That's it. Yeah, he loves it. He comes back to it chat. It makes me happy. Sees he that said. we've been doing that stuff and he goes, I love it. It's great. It's wonderful. It's really good. Every time we call Miller or speak to Miller after we've done a Miller impression, he always says, oh, no, it's great. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. He does. It's yeah. really funny. I, I mean, maybe pretty... he's just being really nice because he is a nice guy. To... Deep inside, but... he's burning. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> oh, think so. See, I've spoken to frustrated and annoyed Miller before, and it, I don't think he'd be able to hide it very well. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he doesn't mess around if you fuck him off. Ooh, oh, really? No, you don't want to. Fuck him off and not in a good way. No, no, no. no. Stop <laughs> I've fucking heard him, off Simon Miller. I've heard him feel fucked off with other people. It's very difficult to get a man as lovely as Simon Miller to that point. Yeah. yeah. I think we've still got, if we're going to get him there, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of work to do. Oh, yeah. Fear the wrath, the wrath, the wrath. of a n- nice man. It's not yeah. like day one, he gets really angry. At you. Exactly. Yeah. You've got to learn the controls first. <laughs> yeah, you've got to learn how to push his buttons first. Um, so, yeah, no, no, there's no no problem there. Don't don't worry about it, guys. It's all fine. It's absolutely fine. Hey, do you want to know what's coming up this week on Vidiots? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 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 We've got the worst games ever. Oh, shit. What? Yeah. Oh, Alrighty. Shit. It seemed comes seem come around. <laughs> 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 yes, it is. Are you okay? No. <laughs> uh, we've got the worst games ever. Skyrim Zoo is taking a brief hiatus this week, but will be returning next week. Oh, and it's pretty right. much the finale. There's two episodes oh, left. It's a two part finale. And it's really it's building up, so make sure you, you get excited for that. But instead, on this Saturday, because we've been to Thorpe. Park. What? Oh my god. We will have been to Thorpe Park. Sorry. Yeah, we've not been yet. We're going in two days' time, aren't yeah, we? Yes. At time of publishing. Exactly. Oh, we should hopefully have a, a one of two videos yeah. going out on the Saturday about mm. uh, a, one ride in particular that we were invited to come and try out. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, it's going to be loads of I've fun. I've been to a theme park in years. And slightly really spooky. Me neither. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, really me looking neither, forward yeah. to it. It's going to be, be good. It's going to be a great deal of fun. Now, if you want to keep up to date on everything we're doing, you can follow us on YouTube or subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitter and like on Facebook forward slash Vidiots, Vidiots, Vidiots Official. Official. Big thank you to our patrons. Thanks, boys. And girls. Over there on patreon.com forward slash Vidious Official. You can follow at This Is Rules Boss to have a conversation about, you know, things and stuff. Rules. And at Billy Ray Botteris to talk to, well, he won't reply, but he does do daily tweets. He'll talk yeah. at you. Yeah, he, he's chouts at He used to reply and say, probably couldn't be a lot better parent, but people yeah. kept tweeting him and it was really annoying seeing that on our I feed. He would tag us as well, yeah, every yeah. time. That was very frustrating. Yeah. Uh, make sure you leave us an iTunes review or a review slash rating on your platform of choice. It all helps. Yeah, Every little helps. little helps. And tell your fucking friends. Tell um, your friends. Tell them. Please. We still want to get out of this goddamn 30k zone. We've been here for six years. It's terrible. It's like to... being hat films. Oh. Oh. If we combined our might, they'd be into 900,000 subs by now. Oh Damn. my god. Uh, but anyway, if you want to help us get to 50k, as we said before, we're going to announce well, the sort of a slight change of tact at the beginning of July. Yeah, um, that we'll be we'll be talking more about soon. But you know, it would be great if we get to fifty k before then. Please, yeah. that'd be very lovely, guys. We need a secret word, or a phrase, or a question. Let's let's ask a question. Um, we've done we've done two vaguely monkey slash anthropology. How things many today. silver? How many pebbles would it take for you to show a monkey your bottom? There we go. Imagine if a little monkey came over to you, handed Which like, is a little, just like a little, little pouch pebble. of pebbles, like, like really nice, smooth ones. Though. You and know, a like, picture of nuggies. Yeah. <laughs> you know when you're walking along a pebble beach and there's just a fuck ton of pebbles, but yeah. there's like that one pebble that catches your eye. Yes, yeah, so it's like a really nice pebble, p- pure this white. This monkey spent all day or jet looking black, at those just polished looking your for ass. those delicious yeah. pebbles. How many of those perfect pebbles would it take for you to just get your ass out for a monkey? And it it's not gonna sort of bite it off or anything like a monkey might do, but it is gonna look at you. And later on, it will probably masturbate. Mm-hmm. It'll think about that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just put hashtag secret question and just a number. Yeah. Or, uh, and and pebbles as well. And, pebble, and yeah, pebbles. Yeah. Number pebbles. Number and pebbles. Because yeah. if it's just loads of numbers in the in the <laughs> YouTube, might shut us down. <laughs> they might think we're trying something. Yeah, yeah. Something Possibly. weird. Yeah, uh. yeah. Let us know or tweet us. Tweet us the, yeah. the pebbles too. Everything forward slash video. It's official. Come and subscribe. Come and say hello. Come and hang out. We're your best mates. Hope you're enjoying the sunshine. Headphones are good. Bit.ly forward slash Vidious Beach. Vidious Beach, Turtle Beach. They're good guys. Buy thank them you. Now. You can talk to them as well. They're, yeah. they're wonderful people. Guys, thank you for coming and playing Pretend Radio today with us. Thank them. you. Lots of fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah. Pretending. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. We, we love you. 
Bye bye. I hope we feel better by bye. then. Oh god. god. I, don't, I think this is just it now. Oh. We're old and we're dying. There's a good chance by the time this episode actually goes out that we will all feel yeah, better. Yeah, it's just because so. we're a week in advance. We're I'm at home right now. Advance. I'm probably just getting a nice bit of R&R. Ooh. I'm playing Dark Souls. Oh yeah, you'll be great. Well, I, I will be oh, great. I'm in the office. Oh, <laughs> oh Michael. <laughs> oh, Peter and I have booked off leave. You'll have some peace and quiet, though. It won't be just me and Ben talking in weird languages at you. Oh, <laughs> my God. It's exhausting because we've gone our entire... No, I know we've just wrapped up. But yeah, but we're still going. Both of us have gone our entire lives without bumping into too many people that talk in the same weird garbled language yeah. that each other do. Um, but somehow we 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 the came together, together in 2016. And like <laughs> you came together, we came yeah. together, and like <laughs> we came the world, at the same time. The movies. world just doesn't know what to do with this. No. Um, my, when my parents visited over the weekend, my mum does it a lot. Really? Oh, does she? Yeah, she like just weird pronunciations of words yeah. that you just you would not get unless you're on the same wavelength. Like, oh, God, that's where that comes from. Yeah, that's, that's where I got that from. My mum knows that we do it because she watches our stuff and she yeah. says it's really funny and she doesn't she. She's like impressed that we can think of like we can make the connections and stuff. Or like, oh, my Peter is such a clever boy. It, it does take yeah. you know it takes a little bit of a. Uh, it's context sensitive. Yeah, you have right? to break you down have to the know words. What's going it's got to be around. like within a second. And she's fine. like, oh, it's very good. It's very good that you do that. Also, I forgot to say in yeah. your unwrapping present, by the way, Ben. Uh huh. My mother wanted to send you her happy birthday regards. Oh, oh. thank you, Mrs. Austin. Um, and she said that if she'd sent like a card or a present, it might have been weird. So she just wanted me oh. to tell you. My mum also sent her birthday regards for April. Oh, okay. She did. She did. I think you told me that. Yeah, yeah. she did. My mum doesn't know. She well, doesn't say She's looking after a dog. She's really yeah, busy. She's yeah, she's it up. She's very busy. Right, let's end this thing, shall we? Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.